number one, Sherlock Phantom one here. Do you have some cues? Because I have some A's. That sounded really weird. Hi everybody, Sherlock Fan number one here, and today we are doing my first ever Q&A. And I have collected some questions over the past few months that I've run into, and some ones that I came up with or that I looked up online. So let's check them out and let's answer your questions. Tyree Brown Gaming asks, how long have you been doing YouTube? Well, originally I had started back in August of 2016, however I didn't post my first video until June. 2017, I believe, it was top 5 status movie moments. I'll flash it up here. This is the first video I ever made. I just used YouTube like a lot of other people do, as just kind of like to comment on other people's videos and watch my favorite creators and things like that. Montez Gaming and Raz ask, what or who inspired you to make a channel? Funny, because what originally inspired me to make a channel was I really liked Watch Mojo, so originally I started off with top five lists and that was exclusively what I did. Um, but I kind of got into more material as I got more comfortable with my appearance, with my voice, things like that. Um, really enjoyed also was the idea of getting one of those awesome play buttons. Now, I am very far from getting one, but that also kind of always encouraged me. That was always kind of like my goal at the end of this was to maybe have a play button someday just because they looked so cool whenever and whenever somebody would show you their play button that they had received so i mean my goal in the end is not necessarily to make money with youtube but more to kind of meet my goal with like putting good positive content out there and ultimately maybe the play button what famous person would you like to meet there are so many famous people I'd love to meet, but I think my ones that I would be most comfortable maybe meeting would be Chris Hemsworth, just because he's got such a fun humor to him, and maybe Melissa McCarthy, because again, the humor is just, it's something that I would totally relate to. I have that kind of humor, and I think she's great. I think Chris Hemsworth is great. They're both actors that I really enjoy watching their work. Which three words describe you best? Well, I would say definitely creative. I very much enjoy being creative. I love doing scrapbooking, vision boards, all kinds of things to deal with like creativity and colors. Um, I'd also say talkative because if you know me personally and well enough, I can get comfortable to the point where I will talk for a long time. Um, I'm very shy at first, but eventually I get very talkative and eventually you can't shut me up, so. Um, and the last thing I'd say is sensitive. I can be rather sensitive and emotional. I can attach to things very easily. And I can feel, especially with my anxiety, I can feel like I offended people very easily, even if it wasn't that big a deal, like waving to them. And I can be like, oh, did I offend that person because I didn't wave back? So I'd say definitely sensitive. What is your favorite TV show? I actually really love Bob's Burgers. I think comedy is amazing. I just went to um, the movie and I really, I, I don't know, I enjoyed it, but I feel like it was also really unnecessary, but that's just my opinion. Um, not that it needed a reason to exist, but like, felt like it kind of, kind of seemed pointless for them to do it, but I'm glad that they got to do that threshold of getting to make a movie if that's what they wanted to do. For the show The Middle, just the simplicity, the fun storylines, the like family kind of like that. I seem to really like shows like that that are kind of very simple and very like not over the top and not hugely adventurous. Just I kind of enjoy the simpler things. Are you starting a channel for the money? Nope, because I don't get paid. I don't get paid to do this. I do this for a full-fledged hobby. Um, all the videos I post are either ideas that I had that I was very excited about or ideas that I've seen other creators do and I wanted to do my take on it. So yeah, it's it's not for the money because I don't make any. What was the last movie you went to and what did you think? Well, I did just kind of spoil that one. I went to see Bob's Burgers, the movie, and I think it was great. Um, I won't say any spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it, but I thought it was really pretty good for what it was. I mean, like I said before, I don't think it was necessary but I think that it was a lot of fun for what it was. And I guess the last question I have for today is, what is the dumbest way you've been injured? This is a funny story, actually. I will tell it real quick. I'll do kind of a quick synopsis of like what it was about, but um, there were two times in my life that I ever did something um, based off of 
TV and they always say don't do things you see on TV and this is living tale that that's true because when I was younger I wanted to watch Bernstein Bears a lot and there's this one episode in particular called The Excuse Note where sister trips on a rock and she makes herself sprain her ankle and it turns out that she's able to get out of gym because she hurt her ankle so she can no longer do the gym exercises. So well, watching that episode one day, I decided to walk down to my local Wendy's. And it turns out that my mind, I was like, oh, well, you can't hurt yourself if you step on a rock. I mean, that's not gonna happen. You're not gonna sprain your ankle if you step on a rock like that. So I immediately thought, okay, well, I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna prove this theory. And so I found this rock in the parking lot and I full-fledged stepped over it. I put all my weight on the rock and I like, I don't know, I like tilted kind of like, I like guess like that. It was like right here in the middle. And I fell and I sprung my ankle and I had to like limp my way home. So, and the Wendy's wasn't very far. So like I wasn't in any danger of like not being able to get home or anything, but that is my living tale of why you don't try things on TV, especially in cartoons. Um, but yeah, that was all the Q&As I had. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you sent in a question. I'm sorry it took me so long to get to doing this video, but I thought it'd be fun and I really had a good time. I think I could definitely do more of these if you guys have more questions. Be sure to comment them down below. Thank you so much for watching and stay awesome, you guys. Bye!